Boy who looks like Messi is called Messi. It was the first time his grandmother had brought him to a game. But as the game approached, the main striker was late in arriving. Messi saw this. He said to his grandmother, Can I play football? Granny shouts to the coach. The coach looks back with a disdainful face. How can a small, skinny man play football? The coach has no choice. The coach had no choice but to throw the jersey to the little boy as there was one less person. He decided to let him try. And so it was. Messi's first game of football began. To everyone's surprise, it was this little boy who was so unassuming. The moment he stepped on the pitch, he was a different person. His ability to carry the ball and his running speed. He was far ahead of his peers. Soon after the opening goal, he scored a couple of goals in a row. The crowd was cheering for him. The coach was like he'd found a treasure. Asking his grandmother to bring Messi over every afternoon to join his team officially. On the way back, grandma bought Messi a new pair of shoes and encouraged him to become the best footballer in the world. Under his grandmother's influence, little Messi's love for football has grown to the highest level. Everywhere he went he played football and Messi's talent was unlike any other. His talent and hard work predestined him for extraordinary performances on the pitch. Although he was the youngest, but he was the brightest star on the pitch. Whenever he was in a match, he often won a crushing victory. 7 to nil, 6 to nothing, or even a dreadful 16 to zero. Messi quickly became the leader of the team. He was the heart of the team. One time a game was about to start. The door handle of the family toilet broke. Messi was trapped inside. He knocked hard but no one answered. Little Messi was crouching on the floor in anxiety. Suddenly he noticed the window above him. So he jumped out through the window. And then he ran like hell. He made it to the game before the end. But the team was already trailing nil to two. And with only 20 minutes left on the clock. But that was more than enough time for Messi. And when he came on, the tide turned in an instant. He was so good on the ball that the opposition couldn't. To get the ball out from under him. Three goals in 20 minutes. Messi scored three goals in 20 minutes. He scored three goals in 20 minutes. Winning a bike for each of his teammates. The young Messi is a great player on the field, but he's a terrible footballer. Even so, they had to wear their shirts before they could play. The rituals are all over the place. Little Messi's favorite shirt is Barca's number 10. No one could have imagined. He would later wear the number 10, a legend in world football. And of course, what the 9-year-old Messi didn't expect was, it was there that he met the woman who would be with him for the rest of his life, Antonella. But while God gave Messi a gift of love, but also played tricks on him, as a child, Messi used to stick needles in his thighs every day to grow taller. He used to stick needles in his thighs every day. And he did this for 10 years. At the age of 9, Messi was diagnosed with dwarfism. This is a rare disease caused by a lack of growth hormone in the body. It is a rare condition caused by a lack of growth hormone in the body. It can be alleviated by regular hormone injections. But treatment is very expensive. At the age of 9, young Messi didn't understand. He only cares about one thing whether he can keep playing football. Although there is no height limit for footballers. But if you're too short, even if you have a lot of talent, he might have to say goodbye to his career for good. For young Messi's dream of playing football, the family began to save money. And little Messi was strong. He wasn't afraid of every growth hormone injection. He always did it on his own. Messi was only 11 years old at the time. Luckily, the treatment was working well. Little Messi was growing taller and taller. But it wasn't long before. Bigger news came when the economic crisis swept through Argentina. The father lost his job. The family could no longer afford the high cost of treatment. The father went to all the clubs, hoping that they would sign Messi to continue Messi's treatment. But with no exceptions, none of them were willing to pay for Messi's future. They didn't believe that a dwarf could become a footballing giant. They didn't believe that a dwarf could become a football star. Just when they were in despair, FC Barcelona offered Messi an olive branch for the sake of his son's future. The father decided to take Messi to a strange land to start a new life. In the first few few days, the small, introverted Messi looked out of place among his teammates. He didn't fit in with his teammates. They even taunted Messi that he should have joined the ball boy next door. Tryouts. But when it came to the pitch, Messi stunned everyone with his talent. One way crosses all the time. He was scoring all the time. The game was over. He was surrounded by his coach and teammates. The Barca management also saw Messi's amazing performance. They believed that in the face of his huge potential, the dwarf disease was nothing compared to his potential. So they unanimously decided to give Messi the best possible medical treatment and signed a 12-year contract on a napkin. This not only covered Messi's medical costs, it also made life better for the whole family. With the help of the team, Messi's body grew and grew. He eventually grew to 170 centimeters. With his talent and hard work, 
Messi, he was promoted to the first team. By 2003, Messi was already in the first team of the first team of Barcelona. He was the youngest player in the team. And at that point, Argentina hadn't even noticed that his country had such a great player. An Argentine chef working for FC Barcelona approached the Argentine national team coach and highly recommended Messi to him. But the coach didn't take Messi seriously. Two hands pointing to the sky. This is the gesture Messi does every time he scores a goal. But how many people know what it means? Once the king of the game, Lionel Messi, almost got the Spanish national team on their heels, and it was a cook who changed all that. He came up to the Argentine coach and slipped him a tape, but the coach didn't take it seriously. How many kids are desperate to get into the Argentine national team? But when he put the tape in his hand, but when he played the tape, he was immediately dumbfounded. If Spain had taken him away, he would have regretted it for the rest of his life. In less than 40 minutes, the FA contacted Messi's father. Faced with offers from both Argentina and Spain, Messi didn't hesitate. He chose the country he loved. From then on, Messi put on the blue and white for Argentina. But Messi's main battle was with his club. Even though he was a talented 16-year-old, but at Barca, where the stars were all over the place. He was nothing yet. His introverted nature prevented him from integrating into the team for a long time. It was only with the arrival of the footballing genius. It was only with the arrival of the footballing genius. Junior. That Messi was able to break out of his rut. He was kind and friendly. He didn't have a big personality. He always sat next to Messi. Messi's first goal at Barca was assisted by Junior. Looking at the excited Messi, he carried him on his back like a brother. Happy for him. He was so happy for him. This image became a landmark in Barca's history. With the help of Luo and his teammates, Messi grew up quickly at Barca. And gradually he found a place in the hearts of the fans. After the departure of Junior, Messi took over the number 10 shirt at the age of 21. From then on, Messi's 17 years of dominance began, but he always remembered Barca's kindness, and so he played for Barca for the next 21 years. He devoted his entire youth to this team. With Messi's help, with Messi's help, Barca won 10 La Liga titles, 4 Champions League titles, 6 Copa del Rey titles, 8 Spanish Super Cups, 3 Copa del Rey titles, 3 European Super Cups, and Messi himself is setting new records, 6 Ballon d'Or, 6 times World Footballer of the Year, 6 European Golden Boots and 8 La Liga Golden Boots, the most golden balls in the history of football at the time. Messi was the most decorated player in football history, but Messi always had a regret in his heart. Do you know what it is? If you know. Please type it in the comment section. Messi went from being a dwarf to being a Ballon d'Or winner. His life has been full of miracles and a life full of thorns and setbacks. Whenever millions of fans scream for Lionel Messi, the football star, few people know that he had such a tragic past as a young man. The story of if Messi was even a little shaken by football back then, then now he's just a pathetic midget in some obscure gray corner of a city living off the pity of the people many times in the face of hardship our only choice is to rise to the occasion to overcome it one day the sun will shine on our lives we'll be the real champions of the game messi is now 35 years old